Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's Fergie Blog here and I hope you are well and looking forward to some good face oils. I don't I don't I don't know where that came from. Um if you're new here, I sure hope you subscribe and I am kind of in the over 40 niche of <laughs> The beauty world. I focus a lot on affordable things, but I go all over the place. Um, yeah, I'll throw in a luxury product now and then, and I focus a lot on sensitive skin, products that are good for sensitive skin, and anti-aging, so yeah. Stick around. Pull up a chair. Today, we are going to talk about Kake oil. I hope I'm saying it right, because I have a very good talent about saying things wrong. So kake, kake, kake oil um, is a is a essential oil. It is um, plant based, and I'm not going to make this too scientific. I'm going to kind of keep it in layman's terms. This is a sponsored video because I also want to say that up front because the people who sent me the oil offered to pay me to talk about it to you. And they were very kind and generous and they were like, I kept asking them about guidelines and they're like, no, just give us your honest opinion, say what you want. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I've seen some other uh, channels out there that turned down the um, offer to sponsor to talk about this oil. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> suit yourself. I like money. <laughs> Emma and I are going to Vegas in May and I want some money. <laughs> oh my gosh, this sounds so tacky. Okay, you guys, I love essential oils, but at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I'm still gonna sound like a broken record and I'm gonna talk about oils that don't work for me and why I am very picky about certain oils and what oils do work for me. So there are, I mean, the essential oil, um, beauty oil trend has been going on for years now. It is huge. You can find everything, um, any oil basically from like T at TJ Maxx to, you know, Barney's in a um, department store. Uh, and it's, you know, we're kind of like, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this. But do we pay the fifty dollars? Do we pay the eighty dollars? You know. And here's what I'm gonna tell you: always read ingredients because a lot of times, even the high-end oils that claim the most amazing things that maybe even celebrities are using. Refinery29 can write an article about Victoria Beckham and what she likes and then you click on it and you read the link and you're like, great. So basically that's 80% jojoba and they throw in some argan oil and maybe there's some lavender in there and then maybe one other thing and it's like, yeah. I have to avoid certain essential oils, certain plant oils, flower oils that are very sensitizing. Of those, they are citrus and lavender to begin. Those are, and I'm not the only one, there's a lot of skincare blogs out there, um, beauty blogs out there that are talking more and more about kind of the drawback of lavender and citrus oils and they cause a photosensitivity when on the skin and then exposed to light. So sometimes in a product they're great and they smell nice and they're aromatherapy, but once you put them on your skin and you go outside and that sunlight hits you, boom, a reaction can occur. And I think it's called something like phyto, photo something dermatitis. And like I said, I'm not gonna get very scientific here. Um, and, um, yeah, and I've had it. I've, I've experienced it. I put straight lavender oil on my face because I was told it's good for sensitive skin. And then I went about my day and I was outside and I didn't realize, I probably had sunscreen on, but still. And I would get just like, you know, red irritation. And I finally figured it out and I was like, oh, that's what I've been doing. So my recommendations for oils, essential oils, will come from a place where they work for me because they don't give me any sensitivity, they don't irritate, 
They're helping my skin. They're making my skin feel good. They're holding in moisture. It's the last step of my skincare routine. Some people don't like oils, even oily skins. Some people love them. Some people don't like them. It's, it's a preference. It's not a requirement. And so if you love oils and you want to know about more of them and kind of the the little bit of buzz and marketing that might be kind of a little bit of a mm, gimmick versus like actual. Uh, so I never heard of Keke oil I until the people reached out to me. So this is the bottle. It's Keke Naturals and it is um, a vegan product. It's cruelty free. Let me see if I... So that's what it looks like. It's $38 on Amazon. That's where I got mine. You can buy this on Amazon and it's from the Amazon. <laughs> um, okay, so it is um, from the Colombian Amazon. It's from a tree. It is a fruit from a wild harvest. Uh, please don't run out of this. I hope really they're saving the rainforest while they do this. So Keke oil has been claimed to have a retinoid property to it. It is like nature's retin-A. We'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. So it just, it comes in the glass, the amber glass bottle, which is great. It has the dropper. I use every night as the last couple, uh, last step of my skincare, I do about two, three drops of this. And I just, mm, yeah, I put it everywhere. I love it. Um, it doesn't smell, it, um, it's, not, I mean, it's just, it's, it's like any essential oil. It kind of, it's not too like greasy, greasy. It's not thick. It's just a nice oil. Um, and so I've been using this now for at least a month. And I want to say that I just love it. I will continue buying bottles of this stuff when this one's done. I don't care if they send me any more. I, I, I mean, I'm going to buy more of this stuff because I love it and I'll tell you why. I've used all the uh, oils out there like the argan oil, the marula oil, the, the popular oils. Those, I just, I felt like they didn't do anything for me. Like they were good in terms of emollients, but I didn't see anything that was special. And then with this oil, I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my face has a clarity. It just, it's moist, it's supple, two words I hate. Um, and it just, I just feel like it, my skin is better for it. So this, so I'm a fan. I love it. Thank you. I'm so, I'm just happy to know about it now. Okay, so back to the retinol claims. Um, it says that it has three times the amount of retinol properties as rosehip oil. Um, there's always going to be a claim about an oil in terms of their, it's vitamin E, um, it's, uh, it's omegas, it's retinols, it's vitamin C, you know, so there's always something in the oil that can contribute in a positive way to your skin. Now, Angie from Hot and Flashy, she did a whole video on oils and I can link that below because I want to give her credit. She did the math, she did the science, she did the Googling, I did not. I kind of took it from her, but it was funny because she talked about this same oil. And what she did was she did the math in terms of the units. And when you boil it all down, don't boil the oil, but you know, when you break it down, the oil, um, both rosehip and keke, they have like 0.0001 something percent of um, tretinoid, tretinoid or retinol uh, properties in them. So it's technically, from a retin A standpoint, you are not going to get the results from these oils like you would from a Retin-A prescription strength or whatever pharmaceutical strength. So that part, I'm just gonna let you know, doesn't necessarily crack up to claims. But does it have retinol properties? Yes. Can it create a situation on your face that is similar? Um, you know, like I only use it at night. I don't use it in the morning because I think that these products, whether they're glycolics, retinols, any of these products can increase photosensitivity. So you always want to wear sunscreen during the day. 
And in order to just avoid that issue, I use this product at night. So the rosehip oil, the even the rosehip oil doesn't have a technical um, percentage of Retin-A that is going to give you the results of Retin-A cream. But it doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't have retinol properties. So I kind of want to make that distinction for you. Um, as well as I think rosehip oil claims it has vitamin C, but it actually, once the vitamin C is, or once the seed is broken down to an oil, the presence of vitamin C is very small. So you're better getting your vitamin C um, from a, a product that has a stable um, vitamin C ingredient that lasts on the skin and that doesn't go away. Because nothing is, it, none of this stuff that they say is false, like it does have, it does have these properties like the the vitamin E and the, the, the omegas and the things that you need in your skin, the emollients, are present in these oils and in the keke oil it's just it doesn't have it the same way it would be the strength of something that is manufactured in a lab and you know yeah okay so um speaking of other oil that i love that completely agrees with my skin that doesn't interfere at all um jojoba oil of course is great almond oil is great um there's a lot of those oils that you can get in huge amounts that are very inexpensive. Um, I was this, there's another um, beauty skincare person on Instagram I follow and I will remember, if I remember, I will try to list them below. Um, but they uh, introduced me to, this is Tsubaki oil. This is from Japan and it is actually the, is it the jasmine? I can't remember the, um, the, the, the scientific word, the name for it, but this is actually called a hair oil. Um, but it's a hundred percent. It has nothing to do with either hair, body, skin in terms of the difference. You can use it anywhere, but because it's marketed as like a hair oil, it is so much cheaper. Um, and it's this generous bottle. I actually found this exact camellia oil. Um, this exact bottle packaging um, in my Asian grocery store and it is in the $20 range. So getting a bottle of this instead of going to Sephora to get the Subaki oil is definitely in your best interest and you can use it on your hair, body, face, everything. It is amazing stuff. Another very affordable oil is from The Ordinary and this is the Virgin Chia Seed Oil. Um, I mean, talk about cool, right? I think the only thing about this that could change is maybe putting it in a different bottle so it has that amber glass. I think that makes a difference, but if not, I just keep it in a drawer. Just keep it out of direct light. All your oils, just like in your kitchen. If you leave your olive oil out too long in the sun or somewhere where it's gonna get fluctuations of temperature, it might go rancid faster than if you were to leave it where it's away from heat and cold and moisture and everything else. So you just want to keep that in mind where you're storing your oils. Um, and this, the chia seed oil, it's actually more oily than I think than the keke oil. I, I mean, isn't that funny how, yeah. And this uh, subaki oil doesn't smell like you think, oh, it's camellia oil and it's flowers and no, nah, it just, it's, it's very plain, scentless, which thank goodness, we love that. Okay, something else I also want to mention because I think this is important for more people to know. And you guys know that I have this kind of feeling of where it's an unpopular opinion because I'm kind of like, you guys, petroleum, mineral oil, and all those things that we've been told are bad are actually really not that bad. I mean, obviously don't go out and get a big, drum of petroleum from, you know, the, the, the loading dock, that's not going to be okay for you. But medical grade petroleum, there's a hair, medical grade petroleum is safe. All right, with that said, hear me out. So this is another thing that Angie Hot and Flashy did that I want to give her credit for, but I found this to be amazing. She figured out, or she looked up, 
humectants and things that keep the moisture on the skin. So when we have like the hyaluronic acid and all the stuff we put on our skin, and then we follow it with one of our beauty oils, right? And that's kind of as, that's how we seal in everything that we put on. It's like the butter on the bread. It keeps it from getting old and stale in the dry air of our home and while we sleep. And it's great. However, if you really want to keep emollients in your skin the most pro the product that does the most in terms of percentage of how much water it holds against the skin is mineral oil so mineral oil on the skin holds 75 percent of water in terms of preventing evaporation than plant-based um this kind so the this essential oil holds 25% more water to the skin in terms of preventing the evaporation from happening or slowing the evaporation process. So it's you're you're keeping that moisture on that humectant that that hydration on your skin longer when you put an oil on. But if you want to put it on even longer, a mineral oil or a petroleum because there's categories of humectants I'm not going to go into it, but there's the mineral, petroleum, there's the plant. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So, so if you really want to put on some major, major industri industrial, I shouldn't say that, major just like keeping your skin nice and moist. So Papa ointment, guys, Papa however you say this. I love this stuff. It's from Australia, New Zealand, Australia, New Ze Australia. Uh, it's a fruit. It's maybe a seed. And um, this is also, it comes with, um, uh, it, it's made with a petroleum based product. So I get this and then I love it for like any kind of rash, my lips. I've even used it like eye cream, aquaphor, amazing everything in here is completely safe for sensitive skin don't worry uh glycerin visible mineral oil you guys know about that so if you're feeling really dry or you're going out to like the tundra put on some aquaphor and it'll keep your skin from cracking anything else good all right guys so that's my rundown of some essential oils some I, that are new to me that i have found through the glories of the internet and i really appreciate kk naturals reaching out to me thank you guys so much like i said i mean this is um it's made in colombia uh it's amazing it really is and it's a hundred percent or a no sense seed oil so I've not seen this on Beautypedia yet. I don't know what the, the story is in that regard, but I know personally using it every night for at least a month or more, it's amazing. So those are my, my oils and I'm gonna use them through the summer. I tell ya, cause oh my gosh, <laughs> look at my collarbones, shoulders, yes, okay. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I can answer your questions. Like I said, not a scientist. I'm not an esthetician. I just go with what I know for my personal homework and use what I've done. I will list everything below that I can to credit <coughs> where credit is due. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and click the thumbs up button, if you will, and I will see you next time. Bye.